Battlebit Remastered came out yesterday on PC and the game is absolutely fantastic. It allows you to play against up to 256 players and it can get pretty messy. But one feature that the game is currently missing but will be added in the future is controller support. Luckily for us, there is a workaround that we can get a controller working within the game at the moment until the developers do release a new update that enables controller support. So the first thing that you need to do is just go ahead and plug in the controller that you want to use in the game. So it can be your Steam controller, Xbox controller or PlayStation controller. So once you have plugged in your controller, you now need to open up Steam and you then need to go to the top left hand corner and select Steam and then go to settings. Once you're on settings, you then need to find controller within the list so you can see it's here and select this option. So you now need to toggle the option for the controller that you've currently got plugged in. So as you know, I've got a PlayStation controller currently plugged in. So I've toggled this option to on, which will then enable Steam input for a PlayStation controller. If you're obviously using the Xbox, then toggle this one on. And then if you're using Steam, then do this one. So you then need to close this down. And the next thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and it will take you to our website. Once you're on our website, you then need to copy this link here. So just select it, right click and go copy. And you then need to paste it into the address bar and then press enter on your keyboard. This is then going to open up Steam in the second. So just give this a few seconds. In fact, if I go back to Steam, in the minute it will pop up with a Steam layout. So I'm just going to wait a few seconds and skip the video. And there we go. So you now see that we got a controller layout and it's actually already filled in all the information. So all we need to do is press square on my controller. As you can see, it says apply layout. So press the button that says apply layout. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch Battlebit Remastered and you will then be able to use your controller in game. But before you go ahead and just go straight into game, there's a few more different settings that I want to show you in game that you can change to make the controller support even better. So I'm going to go ahead now and launch battle bit. Alrighty, so once you're in game, you then need to go to settings and you then need to go to controls. So you now need to enable this option that says toggle lean and then also toggle aim. We also want to do toggle sprint. So it's up to you if you want to enable these options, but they can make life a lot easier in game, especially when using a controller. So you then need to press back and then go yes. So now that you've done that, you can now jump into a multiplayer match and you will now be able to use the controller that you enabled support for. And there we go. As you can see, I'm now in Battlebit Remastered and I'm using my controller. So that's how easy it is to enable controllers in Battlebit Remastered. I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed the video. If you are wondering where the GUI's gone, it's because I have hidden the interface in the game, by the way. So like I said, if you like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button.